Well, we just come out of the uh, lockup with the budget, Carol, and out in front of the legislature behind me, up to this point, has been a raucous gathering of members of QP and various public service unions that were expecting significant job cuts. A story late last night came out on, uh, on the wire services saying 4,500 jobs could be cut over the next three years. It turns out that simply isn't true. There will not be 4,500 job cuts over the next three years. There will be attrition over the period of three years, but maybe to a maximum of 1,000 to 1,500 jobs. Not nearly as significant as many had expected. And as you quite rightly point out, there were significant cuts expected in this budget. But we're talking about Blaine Hicks. This is a guy who used to work for the Irving Industries. He's a finance guy, and he is an expert at finding out where the little money caches are hidden in various departments of government. And it looks like with this budget, he has once again managed to uh, save money, reduce the deficit without having to hike taxes and without substantive or hugely significant service cuts to taxpayers. Absolutely. This is a reduction in the deficit this year, but the goal is a balanced budget by 2014-2015. And he's making headway in getting there, Carol. The uh, deficit for this coming year is expected to be about $187 million, a far cry from the 471 figure that you just mentioned. A lot of those savings are incremental savings. This is a guy, Blaine Higgs, who really sweats the small stuff. He's squeezing savings out of everything from government uh, used to give $600,000 a year to the horse racing industry to help support uh, harness racing in this province. That's not going to happen anymore. He's looking at Department of Natural Resources people uh, uh, who work in the field working out of their trucks rather than out of offices to reduce the cost of real estate. Uh, a host of things. Nothing is too small for him including taking another look at the need for the provincial government to have a government airplane. There was a story earlier this year about whether or not ministers were taking advantage of that government aircraft and in fact whether the province even needs one. Now the, he's committed the government to having a closer look at that. There are still many promises the Albert government has made to the taxpayers in this province, Carol. It looks as though Blaine Higgs is winning his fight to at least forestall the fulfillment of some of those promises for the time being. Two key things he's counting on, Carol. One, that public servants in this province will continue to find savings, at which they are likely to do if it means they can save their own jobs. And secondly, that taxpayers in this province will be reasonable in their expectations and, and understand that uh, if they don't demand everything, there's a greater likelihood that the health care spending, they, the health care services they need, uh, the nursing home services that they need will be there when they need them. Yeah. There. Well, limited reaction right now because these are the union members who have been here all morning. They're listening now to Blaine Higgs as he delivers the have to hear the details in this budget and of course as I said the reason they're gathered here is because we had heard so much about potential job cuts in the public service there will be attrition but not the substantive cuts at this point